Opening and closing of engine cowl doors. Before working on the engine, initial precautions have to be taken in the cockpit. On the engine start panel, check that the master lever is at off position and install a warning notice stating not to start the engine. On the maintenance panel, make sure that the on legend of the engine FADEC ground power switch is extinguished and install a warning notice. Then, install a warning notice on the slats control lever, prohibiting use of the slats. For maintenance operations, the fan and thrust reverser cowl doors can be opened, but also access panels are provided on the nacelle. On the left fan cowl door, there are accesses to the oil tank filler cap for servicing and to the oil scavenge master chip detector for inspection. On the right fan cowl door, an access is provided for the start valve manual operation to an override square drive. Let's now see the opening of the fan cowl doors. First, unlock the four tension latches on the engine centerline. For each latch, push the latch snap to release the latch handle. Manually lift and support the door at lower edge. Release the front hold open rod from its storage bracket and attach it to its support on the fan case. Open the door sufficiently to engage the rod. The rear hold open rod is then extended and attached to its support. Make sure that it is correctly engaged. The second fan cowl door is opened in the same way. Thrust reverser cowl door opening sequence. First, gain access to the hydraulic control unit lever and deactivate the thrust reverser system. Before unlocking the latches, open the latch access panel. Engage the thrust reverser take-up device on its bracket and turn the adjustment nut to push the two halves together and to relieve the tension on the latches. Once the tension is relieved, release the five latches at all positions, aft, center, and forward. Now, the adjustment nut of the take-up device is loosened to disengage the take-up device, which is then stored on its storage bracket. Before opening the thrust reverser cowl doors, make certain that the slats are retracted and the translating sleeves stowed. The thrust reverser cowl doors are opened using a hydraulic hand pump. Remove the dust cover from the quick disconnect and connect the hand pump. Open the hand pump valve and pump to pressurize the opening actuator until the reverser half reaches the fully open position.
When the door is opened, unstow the hold open rods from their storage brackets and attach them on their supports on the engine core. Unload the hand pump until the rods hold the weight of that half. Disconnect the hand pump manifold and put the cap on the quick disconnect. The second half is opened in the same way. Once all doors are opened, the engine is accessible for maintenance operations. Let's now see the cowl's closing sequence. The thrust reverser doors are closed first. Pressurize the opening actuator to release the load from the hold open rods. Disengage the rods from their supports and store them. Slowly open the hand pump relief valve. The actual door closing rate should be controlled by the hand pump. However, as a safety device, the actuator ensures a minimum door closing time. When the door is fully closed, disconnect the hand pump and replace the cap on the quick disconnect. The left thrust reverser cowl door is then closed. On the engine center line, engage the take-up device and turn the adjustment nut to push the halves together. Then engage and lock all the latches. Don't forget to release and restore the take-up device before closing the latch access panel. On the hydraulic control unit, remove the inhibition pin to reactivate the thrust reverser system. Now close the fan cowl doors. Remove the aft and forward hold open rods from their support on the fan case and store them on the fan cowl door. The second fan cowl door is closed in the same way. Push the doors together to lock the latches. Check that the hooks are correctly engaged and close the latches. Finally, in the cockpit, remove the warning notices from the panels and the slats control lever.